Alright then, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Rage of the Sun. This is something I forgot to mention in the last game, and it really wouldn't have made sense for me to tell you it, so I really should be showing you it. The world change every day. What's that? You thought this looked similar to Region 1 in the last video? Wrong you are. Wrong indeed. This is nothing like it, is it? Can you imagine what Region 3 and 4 is going to be like? Oh, fuck. I, <laughs> I thought I nailed it. I was wrong. I thought I had the timing and everything. Look how different this is. Every single day of the year, this game generates something different for you in every single region. Just let that sink in! The amount of quality you're getting for the money that you're spending, which, if you're a PS Plus member, is diddly squat. You'd be spending as much on this, an entire game with infinite possibilities, than you would be on taking your next breath. Oh, knobs! Jesus Christ! You can see how close I came to death there, and the bloody gimmick of this game, that that was the sun of all fears. I really need the yellow thing. Speaking of which, oh, fuck. <gasps> It works. It's fine. Is there another one? I'd like another one. I'm gonna need another one. The sun is setting. God damn it. Every single day I wait and I wonder when you're gonna come back to me. Are those giant pyramids? I'm going through the pyramids. Cleopatra. Oh, I got the shield so I don't die immediately. Which is very good because we've got moving blocks. And I was a yellow thing that I couldn't get to because I couldn't see it behind the goddamn blocks. I need the yellow thing. Dear Simpson. Oh, that's a green th because of the horizon being a little bit iffy, do daddy, and please. No, no, don't miss the yellow. I missed the fucking yellow thing. No, no, no. It's right there. It's in front of me. I can... See it? Wait, what? Um... Wh what the hell just happened? I've got a new mode to play! Oh, fuck this shit! I'm gonna go play that one! I'm all about showing you something new! How much more new can you get than Apocalypse Mode? I just played Goat Z for... Oh, I said it wrong again. <laughs> I just played Goat Z last time. Pretty fitting we can go from the zombie apocalypse to the apocalypse of whatever the fuck this is. Uh, well, the sun is setting rather quickly. Oh, I get it. Oh, I get it now. It's because it's more hate tick than a 20-man gangbang with only four holes available. Cocking hell. Okay, we're gonna try this again. We're gonna get it, try it again. It's hilarious because that's what the collectibles are called. Excuse me, what level of anarchy and nonsensical bollocks am I getting here? I just realised what I said. Anarchy. And I'm playing Race the Sun. Sons of Anarchy! You could see that one coming more than the sun on the horizon itself. This is absolute chaos and I love it. What the... I regret saying I love it. Okay, the sun isn't setting quite as quickly as I thought it was, though it is significantly quicker than it otherwise would be. I was about to ask if I was going to be able to make that, and what the bloody soggy knobs that was, what the, was that, was that a giant sun sphere in the floor? What is this? Have you seen this? This is insane. I unlocked this for getting to level 11, I would imagine it would have been level 10 and you could get even number and everything, I guess, but whatever, I needed the other thing and I've missed it. There is so much to process in so little time I have no idea what the hell I'm supposed to be saying to you. Sit on, <laughs> no! I'm alive, I'm alive, I'm alive! Okay. I think, and this is a pretty big thought here, that I'm gonna be able to- I thought- oh, I thought at least one of them would have been a jump. I tried to jump. <laughs> Kinda didn't work out. I don't know if you noticed. Okay, let's try this again. Apocalypse mode is no joke. It's no joke, but it sure as shit has plenty of punchlines directly in your face. And seeing as I consistently make an arse out of myself, I'm also the butt of said jokes. Battle block fears rain got shit on this. I'm going away. I, I, oh, 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 yeah, more yellow things for me. I'm. Did I get it? I think I did. Am I dead? What the? What the? Uh. <laughs> I. Was I supposed to have died? Is this a glitch? Because I don't feel like that was. Yes. I think I was originally supposed to have died, judging by what just happened there. Somehow I ended up flying? <laughs> what the hell? That's like the second time that's happened. Last time I hit a boulder from the underneath part and flew off to the fucking southern hemisphere. This time I, I get blinded and I regain sight in the Mile High Club. Oh, I get it. The, the meteors are what cause those little flashbangs. I get it now. I was not aware originally. Okay, okay, this is li this lives up to the name. I don't think they were regioned in apocalypse mode. There's just an endless bloody straight line of pain. Like, this is just an astounding game. I mean, it's really fitting I've gone from Dark Souls to this. Because when it comes to the developers of this, all I want to do is parade the sun. I mean, just to bear in mind, 
Bloody hell. To bear in mind that there's also an extra mode that I am yet to unlock that you... I, I, I dare not guess what the hell it is if this old apocalypse mode is. Ah, shit. I... I'm fine. I just, like, <laughs> bounced all over the place, but we're fine. We're not fine because we have no solar energy, because the sun's goddamn setting. Which doesn't help when the bloody obstacles in the horoi... Zen are obscured because the light is not cast properly, so I can't see what I'm about to break my face on. I feel like I'm in an emotional glass cage at this point. Because of what I just said, make that Nicholas Cage in face off. I'm thinking I should probably go back to the normal mode so I can actually progress and show you something different. I really want to know what this mode is, though. I mean, I, I really want to know what it is. You know, I'll be honest, when it came to that apocalypse mode, I had no clue what the hell I was doing. In honesty, all I could do was wing it. Oh, and after reading the comments on the last video, by the way, I saw a lot of you actually went out and downloaded this and played it yourself and enjoyed it. I was I'm so happy to see that. You see, when it comes to recommendations, I don't steer off course and view you in the wrong direction. So I'm glad you all agreed with me and thought the game was good too. Guess you could say that I was right. Brother, you, 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 you get it? They, <laughs> they, they invented planes. Am I funny yet? I hate windmills. Oh! What the? I, w uh, excuse me? I went right through it and I'm not dead. I'm not complaining. I'm just simply noting that I probably should be six feet under and in several hundred pieces. Okay. Mm, moving swiftly on. You know, when it comes to playing this game, you've got to take a leaf out of the book of a... Another bird of flight. You've got to have a positive attitude, you've got to believe in yourself. You've got to think that you Pella can, not Pella can't. Oh, we got an extra life now! Last time I had that, I ran out of solar power, so I just blew up, and I've, I I wondered what the hell was happening, because I'd never seen that animation before. Okay. That's cool, I guess. Oh! Wait, did I have one of those shields when I went into the blindness, and that's what happened, I got teleported up, and that's why I ended up in this goddamn sky? But I don't remember having that at that point, though. So, maybe that's not what happened. Why? With the giant Super Meat Boy blocks, why? I've never seen three of them in a row like that. And this bloody valley of death that generates out of nowhere is an arsehole. And I am recognizing certain elements of the world. This region does seem somewhat similar. And I'm now in region four, by the way. So this is likely the part where this is the furthest I'm ever going to get because life isn't what the f well, this isn't... what? This is not what I would be expecting from Region 4. What? Oh. Kalido. Kali... Thank God for you, and thank God for Jim Sterling. Okay, now I understand why Region 4 is Region 4, because blue balls... No, blue balls. Red balls just come out of nowhere and try and goddamn eviscerate you. Can't really say I appreciate that with all too much fondness and care in my heart, but oh well! It's not meant to be appreciated or smile, that is meant to be conquered and brutalized. That brutalized is more me. Conquered is the land. Can I have some yellow? <gasps> yellow? Yellow! Not pissing my pants, yellow! The little beacons of light that the elongating! Come on! I cock. At least half of me would have made that. Ooh! Still, that doesn't make it any better. Half of me would have gone off from that and survived. All I want is to make it to region 2 of apocalypse mode, assuming that there is one, but I don't think that there is, and Jesus Christ, it doesn't give you a break at all! Give me a break, give me a Kit Kat, give me something, or oh, knobs! No! Uh, well... Uh, perfect region? The fuck do you mean, perfect region? What the... Oh! <laughs> you probably think that that's me editing it to be clever. No! I was... I was blinded, and then it was perfect! <laughs> Fuck it. Whatever. No complaints. This is Region 2 Apocalypse Mode, and it's utter fucking donkey balls. What? It, what? what the, for speaking of which, there were balls falling over all over the place for the left of there. What the hell is going on? Why did the sun reset? Did I die? Did I get a restart? Did, what the... What is... Oh. Oh! I think I'm gonna have to quit because <laughs> I can't do it. I can't. It's kicking my ass. This game is amazing. I figured I'd give it a second run around Simply Soccer Showcase a second mode. Well, I didn't know I was gonna get it, but I did. But I wanted to I wanted to showcase the um the random generation, the world reset thing, because it's awesome. It gives the game even more replayability than I thought it originally had. I mean, if it was even if it was the same mode and it was just beat your score in the same levels, it would have been cool because you're still unlocking shit. Whereas it actually has daily resets. It's 
That's awesome to me. It truly is. Especially when you consider the fact that it's got leaderboards and challenging people of who could do the best. People don't necessarily have an advantage just because they know the levels. Because they can't. So yes, that is where I'll be ending the episode. Please do remember that your continued support and enthusiasm for these series is what keeps them alive and well, so please do remember to broadcast that to me in every single way imaginable. So, real quick, I'm going to have to recommend you go and watch the Metagames content. He recently did a GoTZ Simulator video, which was hilarious, and is partly one of the reasons I did one of my own. And if you're a fan of streams and finding games, then true talent is the gift that will just keep on giving for you. And maybe you want to watch the random featured content that I've got. But assuming that's already done and dusted, then you may want to check out my previous work that you may have missed because the subboxes are shit, and speaking of which, if you don't feel like relying on that rather iffy service, then you may want to follow me on social media so you can keep up to date with my videos on a service that is more reliable. And if you haven't already, you may want to follow me on Twitch and my alternate channel, because that's got content on it now, and I'm likely going to be doing more impersonations because I'm a man-child that enjoys being silly. But that aside, I'd like to think that you did indeed enjoy this and do indeed want to see more of it, and assuming that you do, please don't like the videos and let me know, and assuming that you did, then I... <laughs> I think it's safe to say that with the gimmick of racing the sun, then you could say, seeing as I like this game so much, then it's a pretty fitting thing to say, shine on, you crazy diamond.